Welcome. This is Micah Fairchild, Editor-in-Chief of PayrollLab.com. We're going to be talking about SAP's ERP payroll solution today. Uh, in our high-level review of the top 10 payroll software solutions, we address SAP's stellar integration capabilities with a full range of other business applications, as well the, as the company's service delivery options, such as their multifunctional shared service framework. Today, though, we go deeper, outlining additional system strengths, but also touching on some areas that aren't as strong, too. So our task is to provide you, our readers and viewers, with the most balanced review possible of this application to aid in your software selection process. But I can't tackle a company or offering as big as this on my own, so I've invited my colleague Chuck Schaefer, to do the CEO of Vantive Media, to join us. Welcome, Chuck. Thanks for helping us out today on our SAP ERP payroll review. I'm happy to help, Micah. After all, SAP's global payroll solution is one of the most utilized in the world. In fact, uh, according to the company's solution management arm, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 million employees are paid through this system. You're absolutely right, Chuck. Uh, that number is actually spread out over 50 countries with partner support delivering functionality for another 30 plus and language support handling just as many. Uh, so to call them global is about as far from hyperbole as you can get. Uh, and you know, that's easily probably one of my top strengths uh, for the SAP ERP payroll solution. Because this isn't just rote legal requirement coverage that we're talking about in these countries. Uh, SAP also handles the common and local business practices for these locales and provides country-specific master data as well as their best-in-class reporting options to boot. You know, that's right, Micah. And now the cloud payroll application, which began with success factors, is next in line for companies leveraging the employee central product line. So far, I think they've got functionality built out for all of North America, as well as several European countries, Australia, India, and Brazil. But jumping back over to their ERP payroll offering, what impresses me most about the SAP solutions breadth and depth is how industry specific they've gotten. The company actively supports 26 vertical markets, and the company's various partner channels offer inroads for other industries and micro verticals. Now that said, I think the bulk of their success has revolved around meeting the business requirements in the industries of business services, government, retail, telecom, banking, and utilities. You know, that's a good point and, and, and pretty well represented by their marquee clients like Siemens AG, Sara Lee, Sharp, ExxonMobil, Walmart. Uh, I'm glad you, met, you, you referenced their overall industry vertical scope, though, because I think a great deal of that expertise uh, and, and subsequent value for SAP customers actually comes from the company's partnership strategy, uh, which I think at this point is over 10,000 members strong. Uh, and while the sheer size of that community is impressive enough as it is, uh, what's more telling is that SAP's partners operate more as an ecosystem than a simple roster. Uh, and they tap into that combined expertise, experience, and insights of each other to deliver customers the most bang for their buck. Uh, as well, you know, SAP has these other sides to their customer focus too, like their 2 million member plus uh, SAP community network and their independent user groups that they host. And these elements all coalesce to give SAP customers something that, that quite frankly, few other vendors can provide, uh, and that's power over future offerings. In fact, those independent user groups, which actually function as nonprofit organizations, hold incredible sway over influencing SAP's strategy. Yeah, customers are clearly an influential constituency with SAP, and that customer involvement has seriously raised the bar industry-wide for payroll solutions. As Forrester's Paul Hammerman once said, Today's payroll systems need to provide higher levels of usability and flexibility, as well as real-time visualization and metrics for the process as the cycle is being executed. And thanks to what those customer communities have asked for, SAP is largely driving that agenda for the industry as a whole. Take their big data in-memory engine HANA, for example. This addition to the SAP feature set is not only accelerating payroll runtimes, but it's also helping transform the traditional batch process and building flexibility with real-time business intelligence. Yeah, that's, that's another great point, Chuck, uh, and a good nod to, to what is one of SAP's really strongest selling points, and that's their analytics capabilities. You know, unfortunately, one of the areas that I think SAP followed a vocal minority of their customers' advice to a, 
not so good end was in the packaging of their compensation module. Uh, it's within, it's in the middle of their talent management suite, uh, and we can highlight a number of vendors that are doing quite well with compensation management. And and SAP does have some utility for reward strategies like performance and competency based pay, variable pay plans, long term incentive rewards. Uh, but like a number of other payroll and HR vendors, their placement of compensation management is not helpful at all, uh, especially for those companies that aren't looking to leverage SAP's talent management functions. Agreed. And some of SAP's moves to date have been awkward and have actually resulted in a number of the business leaders I've talked to lamenting that they need insider knowledge just to navigate and operate the application especially when you start trying to tailor the system to work for your specific business's requirements. Also, those software customizations and any add-ons that can help address unique business needs can be very pricey. In fact, even analyst firm Gartner dinged them on that point, saying SAP solutions net higher efforts and costs in that arena. But, well, since pricing is largely based on, on named users and not modules, that access can deliver specific value to those customers who are looking to upgrade to SAP's other ERP and, and most likely financial applications. Uh, so, all right, clearly SAP has some great elements to their solution and what appear to be some even greater plans moving forward, but they have also have some areas where improvement is needed too. Uh, are there other elements of SAP's payroll offerings that, that you think bear mentioning? Yeah, I think so. At a more macro level, the biggest risks with SAP fall into the areas of complex and lengthy deployments and high total cost of ownership, or TCO. Therefore, it's critical that payroll software buyers, prior to making a purchase commitment, calculate their TCO over the life of the application software in order to avoid material budget surprises later. It's similarly critical to plan the implementation effort in advance of software procurement so that the deployment effort is clearly understood. The plan specifically aligns to strategic and measurable business objectives. Risk can be identified and mitigated in advance. And the investment costs are factored into the TCO and the company's ROI justification figures. Failing to identify just one or two factors such as complex system integration, software customization that's needed to accommodate some unique business requirements, or new internal IT resources required to perform system administration can materially escalate the software TCO, reduce your project ROI, and render your software budget grossly understated. Finally, do your best to understand and get assurances of future software fees for example, I recently just came across information that deals with SAP's plans for application integration between certain SAP cloud products and SAP's legacy on-premises software, like its ERP, which will require customers to pay for those capabilities if they haven't already invested in the NetWeaver process integration platform. This is going to add about 7.5% to the subscription fees. Again, this is an example where looking ahead can identify and possibly mitigate future investments. Finally, I think any cautionary comments that we voiced today need to be put into context, even the ones I just mentioned about price and TCL, though not without its stumble points. SAP has a strong vision for its payroll and broader HCM solutions over the coming years, and with the leveraging of success factors to take the company's payroll and HR applications into the cloud and into new markets, it's clear that SAP both recognizes and values the strategic impact that the right payroll and HR application can have for a company. Great insights, Chuck. Uh, so thanks. Uh, and with that, I think we're actually at a good stopping point. Um, thanks for joining us today for our conversation about SAP's ERP payroll solution. Be sure to tune in next time as we keep up our reviews of the top payroll solutions and as we stay focused on our exploration of the nexus of payroll processes, payroll strategies, and technology.